Hey guys, I'm Promise and I'm here with a vampire tutorial today. Um, it's really hard to talk with this fangs. I really wanted to tell you guys a lot of things, but um, I guess you guys will just have to enjoy the tutorial and see how to do this vampire look. Hey guys, okay, so as you guys see, I've concealed my eyebrows. Um, I had to go ahead and do this concealing before the video because I don't have any glue at home right now, so I had to do extra work uh, concealing it, so I didn't want to make it too confusing for you guys. So if you do want to learn how to do this, then check the link right here. That's Michelle's Nana video. It's a recent video of her, how she teaches how to conceal the eyebrows. So um, you could learn how to conceal your eyebrows from there. So let's move on to the foundation. Okay guys, so our first step is going to be this cream foundation stick from Sue Uemura. And I'm going to go about two or three tones lighter than my skin tone because vampires are really white. So um, let's go ahead and apply it. I'm just going to apply it on my cheeks and my nose, under my nose, under the eyes. Don't forget that part. And we gotta just create a really nice canvas. It's just like painting, you know, you just have a white paper and you throw in some colors. So basically I'm just gonna put it like this. Woo, that looks scary. And don't forget the lips. Because when you conceal the lips, then the color you want for your lipstick really shows. Okay guys, so it doesn't have to be this messy while you guys do this but this is how I do. So I'm just gonna go ahead with a blending brush, a foundation brush, and just blend in my foundation. So just under my eyes, and my chin, on my forehead. So after applying and blending in all the cream foundation, our next step is this powder foundation from Lancome. And we're going to use that to apply all over our face to set the cream foundation. So just a light pat like this. This kind of balances out the color because it's not as white now. So don't forget to pat on the eyebrows. Extra, I'm going to pat extra hard on the eyebrows because I really want the eyebrows to disappear. Okay guys, so now we're moving on to the eye makeup. And our first eyeshadow is going to be this brown right here. And it's going to be our base eyeshadow. So using a fluffy eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to brush the brown in right on top of the crease. Like that. So for the other eye, just do the same. Just apply the brown right on top of your crease, follow the crease line, and just feather out the end. So we're just gonna blend it really well till the both match. So our next step is gonna be this um, white eyeliner that I use for my waterline. And I'm gonna use this to line my lids right here. So we're just gonna apply it on the lid like this. And I have a really tiny lid, that's why it's just this little small space. So now we've applied the white liner, let's move on to adding some glitters. So for the base for the glitters to stick on in my eyes, I'm going to use this really clear white lip gloss. So using the clear lip gloss, I'm just going to go in and just lightly going to go over the white eyeliner. So for the glitters, I got this really pretty um, fantasy glitters from Walgreens. It's kind of like silverish white. So I'm going to go ahead and add that on top of my lids. So now I'm going to apply the glitter on top of the lip gloss. So just pat in the glitter slightly into the lip gloss that we applied in our eyes. So this is how the glitter looks like. Um, if you guys don't want the fallouts, then use a tape like most of the gurus and just uh, clean it up. But I kind of like the fallout, especially if it's a night party, then it really makes my face look like a disco ball. So our next step is going to be this black eyeshadow. It's called Old Slick from Urban Decay. So just grab the black eyeshadow and just apply it on top of the white just to give it the depth effect. Now I'm going to use the same brown that I used for the base eyeshadow 
and I'm going to apply it right under the lash line. And just I'm just going to follow the lash line. Now after applying the brown and the lower lashes, we're going to use this white, it's called Polyester Bride from Urban Decay. And we're just going to go ahead and apply that right in our inner corners. Just like that. And the next eye, just the same. And now I'm just going over with the black the same way. I went over that time, just over the white like this. So now after we're done going over with the black, I'm going to use this black eyeliner. So using this black eyeliner, I'm just going to follow the lash line, the top lash line. Like this. So I'm just going to take it back and wing it like this. So after winging the back, I'm going to bring the front and point it out like this. Now I take a really black eyeliner, and uh, this one's from Coastal Scents. It's an eyeshadow duo pencil actually, but it works really well. So I'm just going to go line the waterline like this. Just make it really black. So for the final touch for the eye makeup, I'm going to use these two reds and mix them. So I've grabbed the red on my brush and I am just going to brush it lightly at the end of my lower eye makeup. Just like that. So now let's move on to contouring. So for contouring, I'm going to use this dark brown eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose line first. So I'm just going to pull it down like this, here and right here. Now take the brush right down your nose like this. And down here. Don't worry, we're going to blend soon. So now let's go ahead and just blend the color in. So for the eyebrows, just take the strokes this way lightly, just halfway till your eyes. So I'm going to lightly connect the nose line like this and just going to blend it with the tips of my fingers. Okay, so just blending the tips and we are almost done with contouring. So for the lips, I got this black lipstick from Fantasy Makers. Um, it was really hard to open, like the stickers were really glued, so best of luck to open that. But let's go ahead and apply the black just as a regular lipstick on your lips. So when you apply the lipstick, make sure your edges are really smooth. If you want to give more volume to your lips, then just go over your lips with the black eyeliner first and then apply the lipstick. So we are not yet done with the lips. Um, I'm going to use this really pretty purple uh, lip gloss on top of the black to give a little bit of shine. So this is from Coastal Scents. I love this Coastal Scent mini lip glosses. So I'm just going to go over lightly. See how it gives that really nice shine. So for the blush, I'm going to use Bobbi Brown's cream blush. It's called the Velvet Plum. And I'm just going to dip that and just lightly just go like this on my cheekbones. And not too low, just on the sides of the cheeks. Like that. So now it's time for some fun lashes. So I'm going to apply this lash right on the top of my lid like this. So for the lower lashes, I'm using a shorter lash and I'm just going to apply it right on the lower lash line. Like that. 
Okay guys, so we're almost done with the look. Um, right now, this is more like the Mona Lisa vampire without the eyebrows, just the dark contouring. So if you guys want to just do this without the eyebrows, then add in your fangs and your contacts and you're ready to go. Um, for the rest of you guys who liked it with the eyebrows, keep watching to see how I draw the really high arched vampire eyebrows. So for the perfect vampire eyebrows, I'm going to use Bobbi Brown's black gel liner. Use a tiny brush or an angle brush to draw this eyebrows. So just go high like that. So just connect where the eyebrow meets, right here, the contour meets. And just take it really high. And give it a little arch and drop it down. If you guys have a hard time and you have shaky hands, I sometimes have that, then just um, use a trial line with a lighter liner and just draw the eyebrows so you can just go over it. So now we are done with the very dramatic vampire eyebrows. Now it's time for the really cool fangs. So these are the fangs I purchased from Spirit of Halloween store. They were the tiniest um, fangs there. And I would say to uh, use a tiny fang because if you have a tiny fang, it's more comfortable and it's easier for you to speak. So I'm going to use this. So if you guys want to add blood to this look, this is theatrical blood I got from Party City or any Halloween costume stores you can find it in. So I'm going to squeeze it in my brush. So since vampires just suck blood, I'm just going to put two streaks of blood like this. Now for the final step, I'm going to apply the contacts. 